What is up guys? I am so happy to do another Pink Floyd video. I have very high expectations for this song. I was amazed. The other two songs that I listened to, the studio versions of Comfortably Numb and then Wish You Were Here, I was amazed. Those were the two best songs I've heard in my life. Comfortably Numb was the best song I've ever heard in my life, hands down. And Pink Floyd has changed my life. I am amazed, amazed at how good of a band and how good music can be. I didn't grow up with Pink Floyd, so I was amazed when I heard those songs. I hope I'm shocked again. I have very high expectations. I'm not going to talk in between the song because I want to get the full perspective of the song. Watch till the end and I'll give you my reaction. It's different than most people. I like going over the instruments and all the stuff that I like about the song, not just, oh, I like it. I like actually reviewing it. So here we go. I'm very excited for this one, guys. Very, very excited. Um, I think this is going to be an incredible song. I have very high expectations for it, so hopefully it can deliver. Time by Pink Floyd.
Oh, that's it. You gotta be kidding me. Wow. 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 That that was incredible. Unbelievable, guys. Wow. That might be, guys, that might actually be better than Comfortably Numb. Wow. Comfortably Numb, to me, it sort of took me almost... I've never had music take me where Comfortably Numb took me. It almost took me into a place that I've never been before. Like some sort of dream or something. And when I heard this song, or when I... I am amazed how Pink Floyd can make music that's this good and that's this immersive. This is almost like a movie. Their music is so immersive and so thought out. It's like a dream. Pink Floyd is the pinnacle of music. It is the pinnacle. You can't get any better than this. This song that I just reacted to, Time. Oh my God. I mean, first let's point out the synthesizers. Love the sounds of the synthesizers. Synthesizers from what I've heard so far are big and pink foot and give it that dreamy feel. That out of this world feel. But not only that, I mean, the beginning was e a clock sound. I mean, the detail in every single point of this song is fascinating. This is what music should be. This is the best music of all time. The 70s, is, in my opinion, and Pink Floyd. Again, this is my third song. But this might be the best band to have ever existed. Ever. I have never heard any music in my life that is this immersive. That is this in depth. That has this many components to it. That is all these instrumentals. A clock sound. A synthesizer. A guitar part. Singing, of course, backing vocals. I mean, I am shocked. And also one thing that I was thinking about when I was reacting to this song. This is my third Pink Floyd song, the fourth Pink Floyd reaction, because I did. Um, this is my fourth one. I did three earlier. I did two. Um, studio versions, and they were Comfortably Numb um, and Wish You Were Here, and I did a Pulse version of Comfortably Numb. But from my two uh, studio version songs that I've done, I am beyond belief. It seems like synthesizers are a big deal in this band, and also what I was going to say was, because um, I just remember what I was going to say. So from the two songs that I did, I already am recognizing that, of course, every band has like a signature guitar. For instance, Led Zeppelin has Jimmy Page and his signature guitar. Pink Floyd has a signature sound to it. Their guitar has a signature sound that is Pink Floyd. And as this being my third song, I pick it up, you know, and then that guitar, the more you listen to Pink Floyd, because I, I have listened to Comfortably Numb almost 100 times. I've listened to it 10 times a day after my reaction. And what you hear, I kept listening to it, kept listening to it. And that guitar, they really have a, a unique guitar sound. And that's what I love about rock music. You know, in today's crap music of rap and pop and all this junk, no one has a signature sound. I can't turn on the radio for five seconds and say, oh, that's that guy. But I can put on the radio for five seconds. No words. I don't need to hear any singing. I can say that's Pink Floyd. By just hearing the guitar. Guys. I have never heard music this in depth, in depth before in my entire life. I've listened to rock music my whole life. Um, 
My family never listened to Pink Floyd, so I never listened to Pink Floyd. Um, but I grew up on rock. I grew up also on rap and, and pop and all that junk music. Um, and I've never heard, I can safely say, I've never heard anything like this before. The detail, the attention to detail. Guys, you know what this is like? This is like either a sculpture or a painting, right? And it's like comparing a subpar painist to a, like, Michelangelo or Mona Lisa uh, painting. Something like that, right? Comparing, like, a sixth grade painting to somebody, or to a Mona Lisa, right? This music right here is so well done, is so well produced, with such little technology that they have today's, it's embarrassing, it is embarrassing that music from 50 years ago has better production and better sounding production than today's music. That is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I feel more immersed into this song and uh, this song than I've ever felt in any song in my life. And this came out 50 years ago. I just can't believe it. Guys. Wow. It's hard for me to really have really good answers and really good thought out, drawn out answers to how I feel about these songs because they're so good. You know, and you, you're so caught up in the moment, the things that you want to say, you forget about them because it's almost like you're in this it is dream. There's no song that's ever really took me to a place like this song has. Or Comfortably Numb or Wish You Were Here Never in my life. I've never had a song take me to a different universe. Ever. And I could safely say Pink Floyd has for me. Wow, guys. Um, I'm very happy to have done this song. And I'm going to have... As you guys know, I'm just going to go through Pink Floyd and... Keep doing these reactions um, and make sure you guys subscribe um, if you like my video um, and you feel like I've earned it, um, subscribe. Um, and also, if you like you know, what I had to say and you like my appreciation for this amazing music, then please place a like on the video, guys. I am so happy to have reacted to this song. This is another song for me to put on my playlist when I'm done with this video to listen to again and again and again so I can really get a great idea of the meaning of this song. Man, this was an incredible, incredible song. Thank you guys for watching this with me. This was my first time reaction. Have a great day, guys.